Hey guys, how's it going? So today I want to talk about the riveting subject of quick connects. If you've never used one before, they do exactly what their name says they do. They quickly connect hoses or hose end attachments. They've been an absolute game changer in our own garden. We have them on the end of every faucet and on the end of every hose. And so that's why I wanted to go over these with you and kind of show you how they work. In fact, I've got a whole bunch of different ones here, different brands, different styles. So we're going to go through each one of them today and I'll kind of do some comparison for you. So I want to demonstrate how a quick connect works. So I want you to pretend that this is a faucet coming out of the house or a faucet outside your garden. We're in the greenhouse today because it's much too cold to be outside, but I do have live water coming right to the end. So I've got a dram shut off valve here just to shut the water off. Um, but this is the same end that every faucet has is a three quarter inch male. And that's what you would attach your hose to. And then this is your regular hose. So basically what we're doing is we are creating a new connection right here. So a quick connect comes apart like this. It's two different pieces each end of our hose so our faucet's going to get one side or my hose is being squirrely stay okay so your faucet gets one end and this stays so this will stay on your faucet you've threaded on one time and you're done and then your hose gets the other end here and same thing once this one's threaded in there it's done and you don't have to take them out again so you just pull back this lever insert and it's connected like that. So the next time you need to take your hose off your house or off your faucet and store it or move it somewhere else to use it, all you have to do is that instead of any threading of any hoses. It's so awesome. Okay, so the other way you can use it is on the end of your hose. So let me take this apart quick. So now this is no longer the faucet coming out of our house. This is the end of our hose out in the yard. Let's say we just got done using our water wand. So let me just put this on our water wand. And we'll turn it on just so you can see. We do have water going. So now I'm done with my water wand. I really want to hook it up to a sprinkler. So we take that off. I've got my sprinkler that already has a quick connect in it and we're already good to go. So it's just really nice to have all of your attachments already have quick connects in them, all your hoses to be set up so you can quickly swap to and from what you need to be using. It just makes it so nice. So this is the Dram Quick Connect and it's the one I have the most experience with just because it's the first one we ever tried in our garden. It worked well for us. Um, so we've outfitted most of our property with these. I like that they look pretty sleek. Like that's a pretty, um, nice looking connection. It's not bulky. It does have a nice weight to it. It's all brass, um, but they are a little bit more on the expensive side when you compare them to the rest of these. Uh, individually, they're not bad. $15.79, I think. We did print out all the information. We ordered all of these on Amazon. We will link them all down below too, so you can do your own research and decide. Um, but it can add up. Like if you're outfitting an entire property, like let's say you have 10 faucets and 10 attachments you want to have all these quick connects on, it can add up pretty quick. Um, so there are some other more inexpensive options, but I also think it um, has to do with how much gardening you're doing. Like we do some pretty hardcore gardening. So I like to have either metal or brass or something like that. They tend to last a little bit longer for me than plastic does, but you may not be gardening at the same scale. Like you may have a really small garden and you don't use a lot of attachments and you don't use your hoses a lot. So anyway, I'll just go through all of these and that way you guys can decide what would work best for your situation. The next one is the Gilmore Pro Quick Connect Set, which is also all brass, but there's an obvious difference here. This one does have rubber soft grips, which is honestly kind of nice. It does feel really, really nice on your fingers. And it's in a way like there's an easy grip. You can tell which way you need to pull down on it. It has the same weightiness as the Dram one. It is a little bit bulkier because it has the rubber soft grips. And I don't know how long these would last, like expo exposed to moisture and weather and sunlight. Um, I kind of assume that they would start to break down after a certain amount of time. Um, but I feel like this has a really good, I, like I wanna try this one out in my garden for sure. This one is $10.54. So it's over $5 cheaper than the Dram. So if you're looking at doing a whole bunch more, this might be a good option. So before we move on to the next Quick Connect, I do wanna put it onto the hose so we can test it out, see if it leaks at all. All right, moment of truth. No leaking. So based on my initial like first impression of how it feels and how it works and how the soft grip rubber, I maybe would pick this one over the dram had I not been exposed to that one first. All right, so now I'm gonna move through the rest of these a little bit quicker. The next one is the Gorilla Easy Connect. This one is also all brass. Uh, it's fairly easy. 
to open and close. It's not as comfortable though as the Gilmore. Of course, this one is the most comfortable so far. And it's actually a little less comfortable than the Dram as well. I think it's because of the ridges right here. But you know, you're not usually doing this one after another, so I don't think it would really make that much of a difference. This one is $9.97. Um, so now we're gonna hook it up, test to see for leaks. Oh, well, this one's opposite too. So the female end hooks to the hose instead of the male end, which is different. So you're actually doing the connecting part on the hose side or the accessory side. Interesting. All right, here we go. Again, no leaks. I'm not sure why this one's longer. Is this one longer than the rest of them? Not that much. So this one so far would come in third place. So first place, Gilmore, second Dram, and Gorilla, third. Okay, so the next one is this Melnor 45C Quick Connect. This one, it says it's metal, but it doesn't say it's brass. It does not have the weighty feeling of the other three. The difference here is this one does have an automatic water shut off. So I can see that being helpful on the end of a hose when you're going between things like this instead of having to go back to the faucet to turn the water off between switches. Um, this one also has a grip, but it's plastic. It's not like the soft rubber like the Gilmore. So it's a little bit harder to connect, not much, but you have to like tug on it a little bit to get it apart. And that could be due in part, I think, to the automatic water shut off. Now this one is $6.48. So it's like, we're getting a little bit cheaper here. Um, so if you're needing to do a whole bunch, you know, this may be a good one for you, but I wanna hook this up and we'll do a leak test, both with the automatic water shut off and um, just in general here. So this is going to be interesting because I'm going to try to disconnect it when the water is actually flowing. I just want to see how that's going to work. So first off, okay, there was a little bit of water that leaked out. That might have just been a little water that had settled on the end of my dram wand because there's no active water coming out right now. So there's that. Now I'm going to try to disconnect it and see what happens. So the water is still live and active going right to the end here. And you can see when I disconnected, there's a little uh, metal piece in there that's a water stopper, for lack of better terms. So if you had these ends, like on the end of this sprinkler, you could go ahead and put this on without having to go back to your faucet. So I do think that that's kind of handy. Let's see how much of a mess it is when I try to put it back on though. Come and do this fast. Oh, not bad. Okay, so I do think that this has some merit uh, in that you can switch it on and off because of that water shut off. Um, it definitely does not feel as um, hefty or as like long lasting as these others. So I would probably put it right in fourth place. Okay, so now we're gonna move into a couple of the plastic options. The first one is the Gilmore Premium Connector Set. This one is $6.99. And basically it gives you the option to have an automatic water shut off or not. Um, so you can use it however you need to. So like in this case, this one screws onto this side. These are definitely lightweight because they are plastic, which may be something that you like. You want it to go from female to male because we're, you know, wanting to attach some things. So like this would attach to our wand. Hold on, I did that kind of backwards. I'm gonna attach this to the wand first. Getting ahead of myself here. This one confuses me, there's too many pieces. <laughs> okay. It seems a little wobbly. See that? I mean, not it's not coming apart, but let's try this out. No? Oh, got some water leaking. That could be because I didn't get it tight enough. Okay, that definitely wasn't that tight. My hands are really cold and kind of wet, so I'm having a little bit of a hard time here. Let me get my sleeve out. We'll try this again. still leaking. All right, well, let me at least try the automatic water shut off and see if that works. Yeah, that seems to work out fine. So my problem must be on this side. So I got that as tight as I could without a wrench. So anyway, all right, so I'm gonna put this one in the probably save your money and don't buy category, just based on my initial experience. And the next one here, which is the most bulky and the most green, which I tend to like black 
in the garden black or like muted colors. Um, this one's from Hose Link, which uh, we have their retractable hose. I can see it right here in our greenhouse and we use it all the time. I really like that. I don't, however, love their Quick Connect because it's a little bit harder. Like you have to use a little bit more muscle to get it, you know, connected. So there's some little locks once you do have it connected and then you unlock it and mm, hold on, my hands are too wet. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the don't buy category. These are $8.99 um, for this type right here. I'm kind of determined though, Erin. Like, am I doing something wrong? I feel like, I mean, I want to give everybody a fair shake here. You know, I hate to be negative. But yeah, maybe, maybe don't buy this one. I think they're redesigning it though. I heard from them because we really love their retractable hoses and we have them in two, three places at our own home. And then we have two of them down at the garden center and they're awesome. But boy, I think their quick connects could use a good redesign. The last one I wanna show you is from Gekka. I actually don't have a link to this one. This is for more professional type use like growing facilities. It's not something you would probably use out in a home garden, but I thought it would be worth showing you anyway because we recently bought or no, we, re we are going to buy more. Gekka actually sent us a couple of, of their water wands and they are awesome. I really, really like them. So I just asked Aaron if he could order me a few more for the garden. But this one is like heavy duty. I mean, like this thing isn't coming apart for nothing. Yeah, this one is definitely for like way bigger flow. This one's got a way bigger opening so you can do much more water coming through it. So I, I would say this is more for a growing operation or like industry kind of thing. So the last thing I want to talk about are these shut off valves. They are not a quick connect but I thought I would just show them to you because they were in this video and they are handy tools as well. This one is from Gilmore right here. It's got a smaller lever on off lever um, that's black plastic and then it's got like this little nice grip here a little bit smaller than this one. This is the dram. Um, so so these are nice when you need to disconnect something at the end of your hose. Like for this right here, this video, we used this because we have live water coming to the end of the hose. And let's say that you had this hook to the end of your hose and you needed to disconnect it to put it onto a sprinkler and you needed a way to shut the water off. Well, if you don't have something like this in between your hose and your tool, you have to go back to the faucet to turn it off. Um, so you can either get a quick connect that has one of the automatic water shut off valves built into it, or you can put something like this on your hose. And I tend to like, like out of the two of these, I think they both work really well. They're both brass, but I like the long lever because I can use one hand to do it. You know, like I can turn it on and off really easy with one hand. This one, I feel like I would hold the hose with one hand while I reached up with the other hand to um, do this one. The price, however, is very different. The dram is $20.99. Um, this one is $6.86, so definitely a difference. I also feel like there isn't as much room for leakage in this dram because there's this connection right here. You can see that. Um, over time things like this just in my experience i'm not saying this exact one would leak but i feel like this type of thing instead of it being like one solid piece has more of a has more opportunity to leak um, in the future after a lot of use. So in summary, if you're looking to save some money, I think that this Gilmore one is really nice and it will work well for you. But if you're wanting something top of the line that will last you probably longer than anything else, I think the DRAM is a good way to go. So that is the Quick Connect overview. I just wanted to line up my top three really quick one more time. So we've got number one place is the Gilmore Pro Quick Connect set. Second up is the DRAM Quick Connect, and third is the Gorilla Easy Connect. Now, I do have to say that I have the most experience with the DRAM. They've always worked really well for us, but I'm just trying to be objective, like about how they feel in my hand, um, how they worked in the test today with the hose. I think that this one feels really nice. Now I'd have to put it through the paces and try it out in my own garden for at least a full season to see if it actually could keep its first place status over like the DRAM here. So anyway, and the price is a little bit different between all of, all of these three. DRAM is the most expensive, Gilmore is second, and then the Gorilla Easy Connect is third. So anyway, I hope this video was interesting and or helpful to you guys. I know that these have been such a huge, um, like, boon. They've been such a game changer to our garden that I feel like I need to share those kinds of things with you. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.